two and a half hours. I want to thank Robin for being my ad moderator and administrator and note taker throughout the live stream. She is generally my one. Hello and welcome everyone. I am Linda Israel and thank you so very much for being here at my live stream on YouTube. I go live every Monday at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, unless I'm on vacation or something else comes up, but generally I'm live or I have a premiere video that you can come and watch. If you're watching this as a replay after the live stream has ended and you're on a computer, you can look for the little gear at the bottom of the screen and change the speed. If you're on a mobile device, generally the little three little dots at the top, you can use those to change the playback speed to get through a little faster because generally my live streams last around two to two and a half hours. I want to thank Robin for being my ad moderator and administrator and note taker throughout the live stream. She is generally my one uh, right hand woman, if you will, and I am so thankful to have her. She also also is an administrator of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Occasionally, if she's not available, one of the other administrators will come over and help me or a friend will help me moderate the video today. If you have questions, please feel free to put those in all caps and I'll do my best to answer those questions. If I don't see it, please ask again. Or if you know the answer to somebody's question, please answer it. Hey, if you have a YouTube channel, please feel free to share with us by saying, hey, I have a YouTube channel and this is what I do on it. You won't be able to share a link, but you can at least talk about your YouTube channel. Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. If you are having a great day, let us know. But honestly, we don't want the negative what is going on in the world right now because we are here to escape that to be inspired to be friendly and have some fun during the live stream you have an opportunity to earn junk bucks you can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have once junkie joe is up because this is preliminary and i've pre-recorded this once you have 2,000 junk bucks, you can redeem those by typing a ward and you can get a $10 off coupon to my shop. How do you earn junk bucks? Just by being here, chatting with us. So make sure that you speak up in the chat so that Junkie Joe registers that you're here and by playing the in chat games. And then also whenever you make donations. Occasionally, I have raffles. In fact, right now, there should be Junkie Joe coming up. You can type exclamation point raffle, just as that says, and you can enter the raffle to win 200 junk bucks. If you make a donation during my live stream, do go over to my website, lindaisrael.com. You can see the name scrolling across the bottom here and create a user account. Once you've created a user account on my website, make sure that you use the contact me form and say, hey, my name is on YouTube and I donated. And then I can get you added to the YouTube donator membership on my website. What does that do? Well, a member of my website in the YouTube donator membership gets 5% off orders in my shop, gets several digital downloads for free, and during the live stream, when you donate, you get to chance to win the journal that I raffle off at the very end. Throughout the live stream, I will have different raffles giving away prizes. If you will type exclamation point raffle when you see those come up, then you can have a chance to win those items. We're going to get started here in just a moment. Thank you so much for being here today. When the video is over, come back and leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about today's video, or if you have questions and you're watching this as a replay, use that comment section down below. Also look in the description box to links to the Friendly Junk Journal paper, People Facebook group, as well as by Linda Israel, my Instagram, Twitter, my website, and generally I try to update the products that I use and those links are in the description box as well. All right, well, let's get started.
Okay. Now I'm live. <laughs> it's not a recording. Well, unless you're watching this as a replay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you hear me okay? I hope you can. Hey, Maria. Hope you are well. Robin and uh, Elf and Margie and Julie, I see, is in here. So I don't know who else I'm, I'm missing, but if you're here today and you would like a shout out especially, then speak up in the chat, say a little something, and I'll send, I'll, I'll say your name. <laughs> All righty. I, I, I forgot to put some lipstick on. Let me, uh, my mouth was dry. I may need some lip gloss too. Yep, yep, yep. Are we here? Are we here? All right. Well, I've been a busy girl. Oh, Sherry's here. April's here. Hey, yeah. So glad you're here. I've been a busy, busy girl. <clears throat> I am. Uh... Sherry, your bucks may be on your other account. So if you're missing bucks, that might be why, because I saw you have two accounts. Hello, Sandra. Um, I've been busy. I've been working at the shop with Henry. And so I have been behind. I've been very behind on some things because I'm a procrastinator. And hopefully this week I will get a bunch of prizes and I'm getting ready to order a, sh a package to Australia to a very special lady. <laughs> I wonder who that is. <laughs> um, what else? I've, uh, my brother came over to visit me, which is a blessing because we, he wasn't speaking to me for a while and he messaged, called me or, or uh, text messaged me the other day and stopped by for a little visit. And while he was here, we dug out some old photo albums and I'll zoom in so you can see this. This is me when I was probably one and a half ish. Look at that. I heard I, this one. I didn't have my eyes open, which is really what happens a lot in photos because I have such a squinty eye when I smile. And then this was a little bit later as a teenager. We were out at the farm. I can see the car door of the one of my, I think it was my brother's car. Uh, my brother, John, I think took this photo. And then this is a little bit later when I used to get spiral perms. Remember the 80s, y'all, where you got spiral perms? And that was me getting a spiral perm probably my junior or senior year in high school. So I saw that and I thought I would uh, share with you. Hey! Ah, until Wednesday? Oh, my goodness! Oh, I bet, because I've heard that getting your tonsils taken out as an adult is difficult. So. I still look, I still look the same. <laughs> I haven't changed much. <laughs> you love my big hair, Jennifer? <laughs> that, that was my big, big hair. This is where it's all pulled back. Anyhow, I thought I would share those with y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you so much. The perm. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. <laughs> uh, so I, I feel for you, Maria. I have still got my tonsils, but my one of my brothers got their tonsils taken out. And even when he was young, it was hard. It does look go. My hair color changed as I got older, and of course now I get it dyed uh, because you know I need don't don't look at the top of my head. I go next week to get my hair done. I need a haircut really bad. I'm looking a little rough. <laughs> And I would have thought that once I got to my 50s, that I would stop getting acne, but apparently not. <laughs> oh, you love seeing pictures like that, Maria? Well, thank you. Um, I have the August Artistic Stencil Club is up in viewable now. So this is a preview of the images. I decided to do some real funky patterns this time. I don't know, just, just looked like it, it appealed to me. Well, thank you so very much. You're very sweet. Thank you so very much. <laughs> You're very sweet. And then I thought this one was kind of fun I went with a triangle theme on the half sheet. And then this one I thought would be a fun, just a fun pattern. It kind of reminds me now that I look at it and I'm probably wrong because I think it only goes one way, but kind of reminiscent of the prince symbol if y'all know what that is 
kind of looks like that in this little area here, huh? Yes, yellow. See, my hair was yellow when I was a baby, according to those pictures. So what else? Um, today, because I've been so busy, I am working on the Bridal Farms junk journal. And what I've been doing is staging it. Hey, Leah, so welcome to have you here. I've been staging it all out so that I can do tutorials. So I posted a tutorial, which is the August challenge, which is actually what one of the pockets is going in to the Bridal Farms journal. And then tomorrow, technically at midnight tonight, the next tutorial comes out and I hope you like it because I'm using magnets and we make a hidden pocket. And then I've got another tutorial that I, oh, I used a, um, a handkerchief to make a pocket. So that's another tutorial that's coming out. So I've been working on those like kaleidoscope. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? They kind of do look like kaleidoscope. Um, so I've got some more stencils cut or more since she said stencil. So I said, it. um, I get distracted. I know, uh, I've got more tutorials coming and depending on how things go, we'll determine if I finish it live next Monday, or if I decide just to do it as a recording and save it for the week that we're on vacation. Yes, I am going on vacation. Henry's taking me on a cruise for my birthday. And hi, thank you, Margie. You're so very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll be going on, uh, thank you, Terry, uh, on a cruise. We leave August the 13th and we're gone for eight days. So that Monday that it will be gone, I will have a recorded video. So we'll see how that goes, but I'll still have a video at 3 45 PM central standard time on Monday. <laughs> hey, Julie, don't leave me out. You're in there. All right. So here's what I did. I prep this by grabbing some things. And I've been working on this particular journal concept for about three weeks. I think maybe a month ago, I made the foundation, which was, I took a bunch of gel prints and mixed media pages and I glued them together much like I've showed y'all on my other accordion folder folded journals but this time it's all piecemeal so you're gonna see different pieces throughout so I've kind of staged what I thought would look good on the cover and some of the pages and I thought today what I'll do is go through all of these ideas with you. So this cover is six inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. It has chipboard for the front and back cover. And then the pages were, I think book pages. And then I just added all of my mixed media pages. Some of these were painted with acrylic paint. And then I used a stencil over the top of it with Tattered Angels Glitter Mist. This is a gel print. So you're going to see a variety of things in here. Yeah, exactly, Margie. Thank you. <laughs> Which is funny because our printer at the shop is down and the repair guy came out once, but now he has to come back because he didn't get all the parts he needed. And he contacted Henry Saturday and he has COVID. So we didn't go anywhere this weekend. We did go to Lowe's, but I didn't have any, I wasn't near anybody. I didn't touch anybody. <laughs> so I'm not going anywhere until we get on the cruise <laughs> because I don't want COVID again. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set this side because we know what the measurements are. And then I grabbed a bunch of things. So I'm going to try something. I've, I kind of did a prototype in this journal. So I didn't do it here, but I wanted to show y'all exactly what I did. So I know this is some crazy, colorful scrapbook paper. I'm still in my use it up scrapbook paper mode. And what I've done is I cut a piece of scrapbook paper to be 11 inches across and I made it seven and a half inches tall because I wanted it to be somewhat in the center of the other. And I'm going to collage other stuff on top of it. But if you notice, it is folded. So we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to rotate this around and I have some scraps of paper. I have some magnets 
and I've got my Fabri-Tac glue. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is I want to put some magnets on here. And I've I'm, my allergies are killing me today. I've taken allergy medicine. Ugh. So I'm going to come in about two inches in and put a drop of glue. Go over here and do about two inches in. Put a little drop of glue. And I think I want to go ahead and put one more magnet in here so I'll find the center one two three and then that center would be right about there I'm using the Fabri-Tac glue because the magnets of course they're a metal and Aline's tacky glue doesn't really work on that you love that paper Jennifer I don't even know which scrapbook pad it's out of but I thought it was a good one to use with the other so now I've got these tea tiny little bitty three millimeter magnets i ordered them by mistake because i wasn't i don't know millimeters like y'all from the uk and such <laughs> i'm a dumb okey that knows i do inches maybe centimeters <laughs> but i thought if i used a bunch of them then it would achieve the goal that i have so i'm just going to drop these in the glue just a little bit here i need one more Oop. And they fly if you're not careful. And you got to make sure you only have one. All right, so I got one more. All right, so I put three magnets. Can you see them there? One, two, and three. So the next thing I have here is a book page that I want to cut as the same height as this piece. Normally I cut um, on my paper cutter, but. This time I'm not going to. Do we want to make a big pocket on our journal? Why not? Why not? We we can do it, right? Uh, Amazon. Uh, there is a link, Robin, for the magnets. If you want to look on the spreadsheet, if you have time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazon. I ordered them on Amazon. I ordered the. This is the three millimeter, and then later I went back, and I'm trying to use these up, but I ordered like, these are like two millimeters, they're tea tiny, and then this one is a, I think this one's a six millimeter, which is a lot bigger, but again, I'm trying to use up the smaller ones first, so if you got a little bit bigger, and these are strong magnets, I don't know if y'all can see those, that they're pretty good size. So I'm, I've got a collection here. <laughs> All right, so we've got these three pieces here. I've cut this piece. We're gonna make this front that's gonna go right here. We're gonna make it a pocket that things can slide in this way. So to protect the magnets, I've got a book page. And what I'm going to do is glue this. I don't know why I put glue on there. I should have put it on here. Um, I'm gonna glue this piece of paper over the magnets and what that'll do is keep them protected for when I slide papers into my pocket okay and we're not going to see this this is going to be on the back of our page I'm going to let that set for just a moment and then I'm going to come over here and I've got another book page here strip I cut one inch strips when I want um to do this technique and that is to make a pocket that has the full size of the pocket which makes this a seven and a half inch tall by five and a half inch wide so i'm just put another strip down here go across here and I'm sliding it up in the glue so that this edge gets a little bit of glue on it. And then we'll cut this off. Don't know if that's enough. Not really, so we'll just use a different one. I, I have a little bin that I put these little strips in because sometimes you need them when you're using it on a smaller piece of paper. Hey, Bonnie, welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> oh, perfect. Two, there And there's 200 uh, magnets in that set so you're going to be finding things to do but you can also buy a different size if uh, you want the bigger ones just use that link to get you to Amazon 
And when you do the use that link, it gives me a little bit of a commission on Amazon. So I greatly appreciate it if you're going to be shopping. Grab one of my links. You don't have to buy that product. Just buy something using my link after you uh, get to Amazon. All right, so I've gone around the edges. So this is going to be the inside. This is going to be my pocket. I'm letting that dry. So the next thing I want to do is I can feel these magnets and I want this to be snapping closed on the front of my journal. Now this is text weight paper, so it's a little bit thinner. What I decided to do was come around over here and find where each one is. We're going to put a dot of glue on the outside of the paper. Thinner paper works better with these little magnets. So if you do have a thicker paper, you may need to add a piece of book page, sandwich the batter or the battery, the magnet, and then make sure that wherever it's going to be sticking is only got a book page between the magnet so it'll stick. So I went ahead and put three dots. I'm going to grab three more magnets. I figure if I keep using them like this. And what what's kind of cool about this is if you get up here and it just pops right into the where the other magnet is. You don't have to try to figure out where is it to get it placed. I just and I love the sound, so I like to just let them go where they need to go. All right, so now we've got those down this edge. I'm going to close this up for now so I don't lose them. Some days they stick to other things. So now I need to put something over that because, you know, who wants to look at the ugly magnets on the front? So here's what I did. I took a strip of paper that was three quarters of an inch, and I've showed y'all the technique where I put down some glue and then I scrunch the fabric and glue it down. If we have time, I may do another one here later. That's what I did to this, and then I zigzag stitched down it. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, but you still like this ruffledy look, you won't have the stitches, just make sure you put a generous amount of glue on this strip, and then you can take this and glue it down wherever you like. In this case, I'm going to glue it right across the front here. So I'm going to put glue just on this paper portion all the way down. like so. All right. I'm checking the chat, see if there's anything I need to say. All right, so I'm kind of looking at it because the edge of the paper, I can kind of lift up a little bit to see where my book page is. Uh, thank you, Jennifer, for your donation. And I'm just lining it up at the top and the bottom and down the page. And then I'm just gonna press it into place. Okay, so now we've got that started. So what that'll do then when the glue's dry, you'll be able to use that fabric to pull this apart. Kind of do this and then you'll hear it. Well, maybe it's not going to snap. Is that going to make the snap noise? It's really light, but I like it. I think I like that. And then this will be a pocket in the back. All right, so let's finish decorating. I went ahead and cut a book page because I thought it needed to kind of tone down that scrapbook paper a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it at the bottom. I haven't decided. So let's see. Do we want to put it? Let's fold these in so you get a better view of it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Is put it down low because I found this sticky bling. I think it's from Hobby Lobby. And I don't buy this stuff anymore, so it's probably several years old. So if I put this here, now, do I want to make this book page a purple? You know, I could also make this a secondary pocket. In fact, I was going to, so I think I'm just going to glue that on top. I think we should make this edge purple. And then I've got this little package of bling. So let's see what it looks like. I was thinking that maybe I can alter this color and then figure out if I could, I may have to uh, cut some of it off. Let me know. 
I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Maybe it's too much. Let's do a couple things. Let's add some purple to this piece. So let me find my little scrappy old paper. Where is it? I've rearranged again, and now I'm missing things. Here we go. This will work. Okay. Um, I think we'll use the Distress Oxide. I was trying to decide if I wanted to use Seedless Preserves or if I want to use Dusty Concord. Let's see. Let's just kind of do it in the middle. That's kind of pink, isn't it? Kind of a pinky color. And then here is that purple. Let's do the purple. So I'm just going to kind of go over the edge. It's going to have that distressed look. I've gotten off camera. Sorry. Like that. And then let's add some heat to it to dry that ink. How is everybody? Cheesecloth. <laughs> Early bling placement. Ooh, a whole 7.6 by 6 inch size paper bags for free. Good job. <laughs> oh, gosh. You're terrible, Margie. Just terrible. Okay. Put this back up here. So this piece is going on here. I think that looks better with the purple. And then that's going to go on top of here. I think I'll kind of put it in the middle. So let's glue this piece as a pocket on top of the book page. So I want it to be a top loading pocket. So I'm just going to go on this outside edge. This was some cardstock that I had in my stash. It's kind of a, almost a lavender, a blue lavender maybe color. But I thought it'd be good. And then the image on the front is a photograph I took of flowers in my garden. And then Norella turned them into a digital for me to have in my shop by using some of my gel prints and then adding the phrases to it. I used a book page that I had stamped on so it didn't get... Uh, wasted. All right, so I want to put this on here and I'm I'm still kind of contemplating if I want to come down just a little bit. So I'm going to glue this whole piece down. <laughs> Margie is so bad, so bad. Welcome to the jungle, baby. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And then I was thinking of putting this piece on here, but I don't want to cover up that flower. You know, I think I kind of want to cut away. Oh, I can. Ooh, now that gives it a little better. Now, do I want to, I think what I want to do is cut this right about in here. And use that right here. I still want to be able to use this pocket, so I don't want to come up too far. So I'm just going to kind of play with this. Maybe... If I started at the top, oh, that's what I needed to do, like that. Can y'all see that? So this is one of these sticker things. Let's see if I can make a mess by peeling this up. Oh, great. It's one of those that you got to be careful. All right, let's see if I can get it started. Got to be smarter than the sticker, Linda. Oh, it's sticking to me. Oh, man, I broke it. Okay. I'm going to start it up there. And then I think this piece went 
kind of around in it. Was it here? Oh my gosh, I'm having issues. Okay, this will put it right here. Like it's coming from the top. All right, so now all I've got to do is kind of peel these gently. This is why I don't use bling on live streams because it takes so much effort for me to put it down where it needs to go without it sticking to everything. Okay. All right, we're getting there a little at a time. Oh my goodness. Don't stick to me. Oh my gosh. I'm getting ready to abandon this. <laughs> the struggle is real, y'all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm sure there's a trick to this that I could do it so much better. Look at this mess. Okay, let's see if we can get this all sorted. All right, we want that there. Want that there. I think somehow I got it twisted, but I don't know. Maybe if I do it like this. Oh my gosh. Here I was trying to be clever. Ah, it's sticking to me. Okay, I'm going to go in here. Let's see if we've got this. It seems like something's not right here. I'm going to cut it because I think I got it twisted. I did because I see some gems, but I think now, oh my goodness, it's not as pretty, but I think it'll work. <laughs> Just slap that bed. I did. I did. I got it. <laughs> we'll save that for another spot maybe because I don't want to touch it right now. All right. So I'm going to glue this down. Since I'm gluing on a painted page, I will use my fabric tack. And I'm going to add it to the strips here. I'm trying to use up this glue. It's getting old. I think someone told me that if you put acetone in your bottle of glue, that it kind of reactivates it if it's getting really thick. Because this is getting thicker and thicker as it gets closer to the bottom of the glue bottle. All right, so let's take this piece and let's center it on our cover. Glue it down. All right, so in theory, this piece should pop up. Make sure I don't have it trying to glue down anywhere. And we have this little journaling, I like that no noise. Y'all probably can't hear it. Hear the little nap, the magnets click. And then this was a journal card that I made uh, during one of the live streams where I was making a bunch of ephemera and it has a little, it has some bling on it. And I thought it could go right there. I don't have anything for in here yet. So what could we do? I've got, oh, I've got some more scrapbook paper and I happen to have a purple piece here that I haven't done anything with. So I've got this little piece of scrapbook paper. So how about if we trim it? This pocket is seven and a half inches tall. I don't want to push my luck, so I'm going to do it at seven inches and cut it. And I think I'll go ahead and cut it at 10 inches. So that'll make this a five by seven when it's folded in half. Oh my, where did this come from? Huh. 
Well, you know what? I don't know where it came from. It probably broke off of something. It's one of my dragonflies charms and it's lost the hoop, the little thing on the top. So what should I do? Maybe right here. Kind of see that little dragonfly. I'm going to glue it down. Distractions. Hopefully I don't put too much glue on there. All right, put the lid back on. All right, let's put it, let's put it right about here. All right, we'll just press that into place. Okay, let that sit for a moment. I don't know because I haven't done it yet, but I think probably very small amounts. Think like half a teaspoon, shake it, see if it works better. All right, so while that's drying, I'll take this piece of paper and fold it in half. We could do some, maybe do a layering on it. I don't know. Do I have something over here that we could glue down? Oh, I've got this little thing. That could be kind of pretty on there. Oh, and I've got my word phrases. All right, so let's do this. I've got a book page. And if I were to take this, maybe we'll rip it. Just a little bit bigger than necessary. Okay, so if we had that started, let's put some distress inks on all of our pieces. I'm just going to use distress ink walnut stain. Maybe I want to add some color to the book page. What do you think? We could do a pink. We do the purple again. I like adding just a little bit of distress inks to the scrapbook paper. It doesn't look like that you trim down a piece of paper once you do that. I use um, dictionaries. Bibles and Bible concordance and that kind of books most of the time if they're going to be visible. So I don't really worry about what it says. If it can be in the Bible and it can be in a dictionary, I just let it go. What did Margie say? Junk oh, thank you, Junkie Joe. You love Junkie Joe, do you? <laughs> All right, so if, what if we did this on here? I'm thinking maybe we need to add some color. I'm just gonna move this around. Do I want that same purpley or do I want a pink? I've got a pink. Ooh, I have Kitsch Flamingo. Do I have a do do do? yellow. I gotta find my little blending brushes. I think that one's kind of a pinky color. Let's see. I haven't labeled it yet. This was given to me by my friend Rhonda. She came down and saw me not too long ago, but she mailed me a package of goodies. And this was one of those. So this is just regular distress ink. Okay. What? Oh yeah, that's not good. You don't want to use the. You want to scare them on <laughs> the murder mystery. Okay, I think I like that. Kind of giving a little bit there of texture. Put my stuff back over here. All right, let's glue this into place. I lost a rubber stamp earlier. It fell when I was peeling it off my uh, sheet that I hold it in the storage on my storage sheet. 
and it fell on the floor. Well, apparently I needed to sweep the floor. Okay, you sent a photo, Julie? I don't know what you're sending a photo of, but okay, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't find it. I was like, where is this stamp? So I went and got a little broom uh, dustpan and a little hand sweeper brush and swept a little bit, moved a couple of things and had, had gone underneath the dog bed that I have under my feet here for Hercules. Kind of like that. So I was glad I found it, but it's amazing what you find on the floor. <laughs> I have my thoughts linger here. You see that okay? Maybe we'll use a little bit of fabric on there. What do we want? Oh, maybe I've got some of this purple. How about that? How about like that? I don't know. It's, it's kind of big, but maybe I'll move it over to one side so that you have that layered effect. Oreo's doing okay. He's going blind. I don't know if I told you all this, but um, Oreo has some cancer and he had a growth when we got him many, 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 many years ago. And the doctor just said, if it gets bigger, we'll look at it. Well, we just let it go because even if he had cancer, I wasn't going to spend thousands of dollars on cancer treatment for the poor dog. Well, he's got more nodes that have come up on his chest, his hind leg, and I think he has one that's in his brain. I'm not positive, but I think there's one in his head because his, his uh, left eye is all clouded over and he can't, he can't see out of it. And his right eye, he's starting to go blind. It's starting to fog over. He's 13 in December. And Chinese Crusteds, generally, you're doing good if they make it to 15. You're, it's like a miracle. They usually die around 13 to almost 14 years old. My thoughts linger here. How's that? So then we have a little writing space that can go. Where did I put it here? In this pocket. So it's kind of hidden, but it's there. And because we put the gussets on the uh, journal page or the scrapbook paper, it will give a little bit. So now we've got that. Now I haven't put anything inside here. So how about if we do a um, journal? And what I should have done was stamped on here. You know, I, I get so excited about showing y'all stuff. And I, I sometimes get distracted of what I want to show. And what I could have done while this was flat was decorated it a little better. So I'm going to move this over and let's get a stencil and a rubber stamp. And while we have it, let's do, I think I like this one. That's from the August Stencil Club. We're going to get the Distress inks out again. And I think I want the purple. Do, do, do. do I want... I think I want the seedless preserves. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can do this gently. Just kind of add a little bit of a pattern. So you're not looking at a stark white paper. Whenever you open this up. And it's not a lot, it's just a little bit of a pattern on there, okay? I kind of like that, it's interesting. Okay, let's go in here. Let's add some stamping and then we'll put the word journal maybe down here in the corner. How about, uh, I've got the corner roses here. All right, so I'm gonna stamp it on the page. And then we can put the word journal like that. And this may be too bumpy up here. So I'm gonna take out the journal card Aha. and I've got an acrylic block turn this around and stamp it hey that turned out pretty good see it there all right let's put this back over here let's close that for a moment 
and then we'll glue this down. That here and there method. It's kind of leaving a little bit. I ordered some new reading glasses. These are they're broken in the corner. Henry pointed it out the other day. And they haven't arrived yet when uh, yesterday when Henry came home from work. But I just got a message a little while ago and they have arrived. All right, so this is going to go in here. And now we have this piece that flips open and then we have a hidden pocket behind here that has this little journal card in it. I'm not going to embellish every single thing. I think you get the gist of it. Okay. So then we're going to go to the inside and I've kind of pre-selected a few things that I already made like this um, mixed media gel print. Or maybe this is direct to paper because it feels like it's direct to paper instead of mix, uh, gel print. I thought that would be a colorful pocket to put on here. And since I'm putting smaller cards, I don't need to put the little strips on here. So I'm just going to put glue down the edge. Now this journal card on top that you see is the Queen Anne's Lace and the I love your love yourself rubber stamp and then I've sprayed the background with some tattered angels glimmer mist used a piece of fabric under the phrase and then it looks like I layered it again on another book page so there's two book pages there and then over here, this was from the Victorian Rose Digital Kit from Calco Collage. And then the background is from the Enchanted Rose. I printed it on some pink paper and then just kind of made a little collage. You know what this doesn't have? And Robin is going to be tickle pink. Right, let's put some bling on here. Why not? I've got it. I'm trying to use it up because then I can honestly say, I don't have any bling. <laughs> All right, so let's just put a little bit of bling. How's that? More bling. Oh, for new lenses at the time, Henry's due to go to the eye doctor to get new prescription. I think his, for his uh, contacts has expired. So it's just real simple. Wasn't that simple enough to put over here? We could add something here. How about... What do I have here? Do I want to? Oh, let's do this. So this is a tea bag package that I covered with scrapbook paper and a digital. This is a new digital flowers by Norella. And I put that on there. And then this is the tiny Cosmos rubber stamp on a little scrap of paper. And then I use the tiny, uh, what is this? The blank label. 101 I think with the inspire and I've got a little coated paper clip so let's just paper clip that on there okay which kind of mirrors this page that has the paper sack envelope pocket um, I have a tutorial that shows you how to make that and then I just stuck some things in that pocket so what we're gonna do is just glue this directly down on the page You know what? Oh, no, Norella's not here today, I don't think. Hey, Kathy, so glad to have you here. Um, I know that this time of day, she's usually making dinner for her family because she lives in Mississippi. So the time difference, she's usually busy. Sometimes she comes in for just a little bit. I need to call her. I haven't talked to her in a couple of days. All right, so I just put a little bit of glue. This is painted papers with acrylic paint, like gel prints and direct to paper that I made a while back. And so sometimes the Aline's tacky glue will not stick to it. So this is a pocket envelope that I made a while back. So if you take this part out, and then it's got a little altered paper clip here at the top. And this flips up. This is the Henna Mandala stamp. 
And then this is from the Whimsical Quirky Stamp. I can't remember how. I, I think if you type Whimsical on my website, you'll get the stamp set. It'll show up. Yeah, Sam. Where is Sam today? She's not, Hey, Laura. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then I did it again in here. And then this was a gel print there. So we'll put this back. This goes right here just to help hold that close. But it's also putting the journal cards here kind of help keep that flap down. And then these are going to go in that pocket. I'm not going to put them in there right now. But again, this is the henna mandala stamp on a tag. Hey, Morgan. Um, how are you today? Welcome. And then this is from the, I think this is also from the Victorian Rose, the lady is. And then I used the flowering branch. I fussy cut that out. This is one I did a long time ago and I happened to find it. So I glued it down. And then this is the leafy branch that's around the edges. And then beauty is sold deep is there. So I'm just going to set that right here and then just flip this over. Okay. I don't know that paper clip. So here I decided that I would just do a belly band. This was one I made a while back. So there's a piece of denim on a piece of like lace in the background. And then here's some cheesecloth and some thread woven through it. And then I just stitched down that and attached it to a page where I had mopped up the, oh, I can't remember what this one is. It's a tile stencil. Ah, I haven't seen it in a while, so I forgot it. And then this one is some paper that I stamped around the edge with the, uh, Gosh, it's a Blossom Quartet, I think. It's got four different flowers. And then this was my butterfly stencil as a gel print. And I used a portion of it on some cardstock and cheesecloth. So let's glue this down. So again, since we're working with the gluing to a painted page, I'm going to add glue at the top here and at the bottom. Hey. Hey Nadine, how are you, lady? Hope you were well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Creative. Hey Sheila. I you if you weren't here at the beginning, I will be working on mailing out prizes this week. I have been busy working with Henry. I'm also a terrible procrastinator. Because <laughs> it's a lot of work that I gotta do to sit down. Somebody else messaged me? Okay. So this is going to go behind here like that. And then over here, oh, I already did this. Okay, good. This will be easier. So here's what I did. I went ahead and made this a pocket, just like the front. I made a piece of scrapbook paper. I've got a um, magnet. Hear them? <laughs> Love cheesecloth, Ellen says. And I've made this a pocket all the way around, so we're just going to use the glue. Do you like how I use paper clips to hold everything where I want to put it? You know, that's a suggestion I make. If you're working on a journal and you're not real sure if that's where you want something to be when you put it together, temporarily hold it in place. Use some washi tape or a paper clip and think about it. You know, it's your journal. Make it however you want. You can change your mind. You love flower powder? Oh, well, thank you. That It's kind of fun, isn't it? All right, so we'll get that somewhat centered. Did I get it straight? I think feel like it's crooked. There. All right, so here's an... Oh, and I should have done that again. I should have stenciled that before I put it down, but oh well. All right, so here is a little pocket that I made. Uh, I think this is one that I made during the live stream where I took a oversized postcard and covered it with different pieces of paper and then stitched around it and then cut it apart. And then I've added some uh, pa book page to the back of it. So I'll take this and glue it to the front of our little flip out journal page we got here. 
I was trying to figure out creative ways to add journaling without having, you know, signatures because this is an accordion fold mixed media journal and it's not really the kind of paper you want to try to write on. Oh, uh, thank you, Julie. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Is it Elizabeth? I-B-E-L-F. Isn't it Elizabeth? You change your mind more than your panties? Well, we won't talk about that. <laughs> I... I do coffee dyeing more than I do tea dyeing, and I do tattered angels dyeing. So, I'll grab a few papers here. So, this was done with tattered angels glimmer mist. And basically, I kind of make a water mixture with tattered angels, and then I dunk my papers in it. And in this case, I stack them on a cookie sheet and let them air dry. And then Henry, my lovely, wonderful husband, pressed them for me. We have a commercial garment press. And so that's how he did those. And this is green. And then I have done some coffee dyeing. So this is coffee dyed paper that I did. And that was made with blackberries. I took a bunch of blackberries. And what was interesting is how it changed colors. The longer that I used the solution, as we got into it, the colors changed. So it was kind of interesting how that works. Oh, and here's some more. This was avocado dyed paper. And I, I don't know why it did that. It must have been something on the pan. I don't know. It was the crusty bits. I just used it. It's just kind of cool. Thank you so much. Elizabeth. Okay, I thought so. I was trying to remember everybody's name. I'm terrible with names. <laughs> terrible with names. All right, so that's going to go here. This guy is going to go up at the top. So this is scrapbook paper, one of Norella's images. And I, I'm not positive if this one of which kit that was from. It might be the shabby chic kit. And then this is every mountaintop is within reach if you... Just keep climbing. So I left that blank. I don't think they want to put any bling on there because sometimes it hangs when you put it in. But we'll stick that down in there. We've got this pocket here. This is uh, another one of those tea bags that I covered this time with a book page, a stamp, a little bit of lace, and one of Norella's flower images. I even let it wrap around to the back. And then here I stamped a little birdie. And if you look where the thumb hole is, you see the birdie. So I thought this would be kind of cute in the pocket here. And then I had, oh, here it is. I had, this is one of Norella's images. That's a, I can't remember if it's positive or if it's, um, scripture sayings but they're normally a domino size image so they're little bitty well i took it to my computer and cropped out like six of them and then i saved that image so i had six of these little domino images and then i told my printer to print that one image much bigger and that's what i ended up with so we'll put that there so we got a variety of layers of colors and flowers and whatnot right <laughs> Oh, is it time? Y'all enter the raffle if you haven't already. You know what? I, I just realized I need to drink. I made some coffee today. I made an iced coffee. That is a Beeline Design birdie stamp. And it is from Flying Friends, Kathy. So it's this little bitty bird. You get all of these stamps. One, two, three, four, five, six stamps. Maybe seven stamps, but I think, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six stamps that come together in that little set. So that's a Beeline Design stamp. Okay, get a drink. I made a coffee today. I understand, Elizabeth. You know, and basically, if you can use a photo editing software and crop something and save it, in Windows, if you have Windows, when you right-click on a JPEG image and click print, it gives you a dialog box that then you can go in and say, okay, print this as, 
an eight by ten, a five by seven, a full sheet, a four by six, a three by five, whatever, and it will reduce or enlarge depending on your original image. All right, so let's flip this over and we're going to do the raffle. Y'all ready? Okay, so over here, I just grabbed some things that I thought would go. So I'm going to take off the paper clip. I don't think I need that paper clip. So this is a paper envelope. I've showed y'all how to make those several times. And then I had one of Norella's images here and here on top of a card that I stamped with the music stamp, sheet music. And then I have a little tag. I finally broke down and, and bought another tag punch. <laughs> and then, you know, a lot of people ask me what to do with these tickets. Well, you can cut the numbers off, Robin. You could cut the numbers off and then stick them down in your little collage. So if you have this ticket and you're like, what do I do with it? Well, cut the numbers off. All right, so this will all go in here. And I'm thinking maybe kind of on the edge here, we'll glue this into place. Nope, your bucks don't expire, Elizabeth. They stick with you on your account. Now, if you've logged in from a new device or in a different account, then it may not show your numbers. And if you're going to stick with this account, meaning the other one is gone, then I can transfer them. Okay, so let's put this right here. You like that, Robin? I told you. Okay, we'll put that there. So I made this a tuck spot, so we could put something behind there. And then this was... Oh, this was the label from the Wild and Free, a scrapbook piece of paper that accidentally got ink and paint on it. I don't know. And then I stamped, keep your face in the sunshine and you cannot see the shadow. It's what the flowers do. So I thought we'd put that across here. Let me make sure I don't need to. That'll be kind of pushing it, but we'll do it. I'm going to use up this glue. So I'm going to put just a little bead right along here. Y'all entered the raffle? If I have to, I'll move this to a different spot. But What I could have done was I got some paper here. I could make the gusset, but we're being lazy at the moment. All right, let's put that right here. And then clean that away. Now this was a journal card that I had some watercolor paper and I stenciled it. I think that's one of the Victorian stencils. And then here I use the label stencil. It has four different label shapes. There's two different sets. And I traced it out, hand cut it. I stenciled the lay stencil on top of that. So if you kind of see a pattern in there with Distress Oxide inks. And then this is one of Norella's images. I think it's from one of her purple kits. It might be the purple, hmm, what did she call it? And my mind is blank because I haven't read the list in a while, uh, botanical type prints. But I think it needs a saying on here. So what if, uh, how about this is my story? Let me put it right there. Yeah, what do you think? Right about there, this is my story. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. So yeah, you, you know, layer your stencils together. This is her paper. Normally it's, you know, prints as this would be half a sheet of an eight and a half by 11. And I printed her sheets as a, I think this is a four by six photo. Yeah, four. And then it would have been six inches wide, almost six inches wide. And then that'll go inside that pocket, but I want it to dry before I poke it down in there. We could add some bling. Let's see if this bling will work. Nope, so we'll cut some. All right. We'll add some bling. Do I want to put it here? I think so. Now let's see if I can get it positioned. 
All right, I use some more bling. Yay, Cricket, welcome. Yeah, you could trace it. All right, that's going to go there. All right, Cricket, y'all get in the raffle. I'm going to get another drink, and then we're going to pick a winner. Thank you, Kathy, Morgan, Jennifer, and Margie for your donations. I greatly appreciate your support. Okay. What are we going to do? We're going to give away 200 junk bucks. So that'll be added to your account after this live stream and help you get closer to your $10 off coupon. Robin's killing it. Aw, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you. We try to be. We really do. You know, there's sometimes we got to be a little hard on people that don't follow the rules the way we want. You know, we all have our opinions, and I'm kind of like, well, you know, I'm sorry you feel that way. We don't do drama either. <laughs> okay. Did y'all get in the raffle? I'm just giving you another second to get in on the raffle. And let's go over here to the giveaway. All right. So the winner of 200 junk bucks is... Bonnie! Congratulations, Bonnie! All right, let's reset that. And... All right, we'll do these. Okay. Reset. Go back here and do... Um... All right. So we're going to give away next these yellow flower journal cards. Basically, it's scrapbook paper that I've layered one of Norella's postcard type images on here. Maybe it's called a flashcard type thing, but it's got the alphabet in calligraphy uh, writing and then the flowers over the top. There's a book page and then we have scrapbook paper. So I've got a couple of these that are great to add to a journal. Set that up here. All right, this is probably dry enough that I can pop that down in the pocket. Yes. I know it covers up this upper piece, but I, I kind of like that look. All right, y'all into the raffle. Woohoo, Bonnie! All right, let's see. I may not use this one. Let me see if it's finished. I may not have finished it. Okay, I didn't. So this is a prototype that I've been working on a while ago. So you take a piece of scrapbook paper, and in this case, it is three inches by ten and a half inches. You make a pocket to go on the front, which makes it two and a half by three inches. Okay. So there's a little pocket there. And then on the inside, underneath this pocket, I took some copy paper weight, text weight paper, and just sewed it across there. I think this was just strip folded in half. And then over here, we've got another little pocket that I made. So we've got a little pocket here, scrapbook paper. Oh, thank you, Cricket. Thank you so very much. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I put a tiny, tiny little envelope that I made. And this is the tiny postcard. And look, it comes out of there. And it says, expect great things. So we're going to glue that right here. So that'll be glued down into place. Okay, and then the next thing I did was I taped down this ribbon on the back so that we could make this a pocket and not interfere with that on the back. So what I'm going to do now is just glue this down on the top portion of our journal here. So it gives us some creative writing space. And we've got this flippy flappy looking design. I think I'll go ahead and do the whole thing. Okay. Glue this up. 
I put the ribbon on here because I wanted to be able to tie this little journal flippy thing closed on my page. Okay, so I got that in there. I think this came out of another spot, so I'm just going to put it there for now. Okay, so we put that there. I think I'll go ahead and glue these down. And I think, I think I'll glue them as pockets, not just as a tuck spot. Actually, I could do it as a tuck spot where the, these are open. So here and here and here and here. Does that make sense? So these are, again, some more um, scrapbook paper in my hand right now. And this one is a gel print. Okay. And then we'll do this side. So it's a creative way to make a pocket because I'm going to put this across here, clean up any glue, put the paper clips away. Now, if we want, we can put something behind there. Let's see what I've got. If I've got anything, I have this one. We could put that in there. I don't see a short card, really. I do have some 4x4 four four paper. Well, that would look kind of neat back behind there. Let's, let's think about decorating that. How much time do we got? We have 5 o'clock. We have not even done the whole journal front journal yet. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge, hunky, junky... Hunk, hunk of a journal. All right, let's put some distress inks on these and see if I've got some uh, fibers nearby or lace or something that I can put in the tags. May even stamp on them. You know, I haven't done a lot of stamping yet today. Now, I was making this journal for myself. But because I didn't have time to finish the bridal journal, the horse journal, um, I decided that I would share it with y'all. Okay. Oh, let's add some distress inks to this piece around the corners. Just using my crocodile that I broke. <laughs> you love a chunky journal? How many of you have won a journal from me? I'm curious. More to pet. Chonky is good, Robin says. <laughs> All right. So let's do something. Let's maybe um, move this up out of the way. Slide this over. All right. So these tags are going to come out this way. And we're going to have this little journal card. I've got some stamping on the other. I've already stamped a few. Oh, let's do the henna rose. I happen to have it right here. And I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to stamp it across the top. So that it gives you, you know, the whole decorative piece. And let's just stamp this one across the corners so it kind of ties that page together or I could have done a completely different one I think I'm going to add some color to this one so I'm going to grab the do I want the purple yeah let's do the seedless preserves I'm just lightly adding a little bit of color to that edge Okay, and I, you know what? I'll add some color to this one as well. So the nice thing about the Distress Oxide that once you start messing with it, it has a tendency to have enough. Okay, that is perfect below there. Uh, thank you, Sherry, for your donation. So in here, 
in these uh, little bitty pockets, I have two little square cards. So this is one of Norella's images that I folded over. And then this is the Bella Rose Small. It is, it's your time, is it, Bonnie? Barb? Hey, Barb. So glad to have you here. What's that? That was called the Henna Rose. Henna Rose. Okay, that's going to go there. All right, let's, so let's find something to put on that. Oh, I have this color. Again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. I think that's what I want. It's those two. All right, so these are some of my kit fibers. I happen to have a few of them laying here. It's probably about that long, so I'm going to get my scissors. Since Robin likes lots of fluff, we'll do couple of lines. We'll do some lines. <laughs> Here we are in a junk journal tutorial and I'm teaching y'all how to do some lines. <laughs> lines of fiber that is. Thank you Barb. You like winning bucks? <laughs> yeah. All right so let's stamp that. Cut that I mean. Must be time to cut to sharpen my scissors. These are my fabric scissors. All right, so I'm gonna grab a little string. Usually I have one. Here we go. And here's what you do. You kind of put it through. Sometimes I do this and I just sew them. But I think today I'm just gonna make a knot. I got my sewing machine ready in case we decided to sew. All right. So that'll just be some kind of that white and pink together or purpley. I don't know. Like it? I hope. Maybe. Hmm. We'll see. Let's put this over here out of the way. Let's do this. So save those little scraps of wax linen thread because they can be basically a yarn needle to help you pull your fibers through the holes of your tags or wherever else you want to put fibers. Fluffy! <laughs> All right, fluffy. So now this one is going to go in here. We've got writing space there and then we've got this one that'll go here this will tie it all shut. Okay. So we've made this a very interactive journal. I think we need a sentiment or something on this page, don't you think? Let's say, um, destiny is calling. That's kind of big. This is my story, which we put over there. How about, uh, Choose to shine and follow your soul. If we did it like that. Yes, no, maybe. If you wait too long to answer me, I'll have already moved on and forgot what you said. The Streamlabs, uh, Robin can share a link for that. Basically, the Streamlabs is just another way you can make a donation to me, and I get more of the donation. If you donate using the Super Chat, YouTube gets over 30% of my collected donation. You're petting this journal already, Margie? You're about due to win a journal, aren't you? I like it. Okay, let's put these down. So glue. This one needs the Fabri-Tac because it's a gel print. This can be a, a, I think this could be a coffee table journal that you would put on your coffee table and get it out and play with it. Give it to somebody really special and ask them to write in it. There's some cheesecloth on there. Okay, I like it. 
All right, let's flip it. Going to the next one. Okay, so over here, again, I was trying to think of clever ways to do things, you know. And so here's what I've got. I've got this paper clip. I'm going to remove a couple of paper clips here so they're out of the way. So this is a piece of fabric, and I thought what would we do is we're going to glue down this piece, which is a book page uh, with one of my digital gel prints wrapped over it, and I made a pocket. So that's scrapbook paper, and this has got an oversized postcard underneath it, so it's sturdy. It's really thick feeling. Fits inside here. This is one of Norella's images that she made for me. Another one of her images in there. This is a, a tag. Henry gave me a bunch of tags, and so I altered them. This is from the Apothecary Garden. So what I thought I would do... Oh, and this was a journal card I, I started during one of the live streams, and that's all I added to it. I think it's kind of pretty as it is. Thank you, Nadine, for your donation. And then I have a piece of fabric here. So my thought was I would glue this down with this in here, and then I would have this fabric that would go around and hold everything together. So I think what I want to do first is take this piece and glue it right down here. So I'm going to put a bead of glue. If you got one of my, what was this one from? I think this was like the, the Bella Rose journal kit. I'm going to center it on this little flippy flap. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Then I want to take this piece. I was trying to figure out a way to put magnets on here. So I've got a piece of paper and, oh, thank you so much, uh, Elizabeth, for your donation. Thank you, Nadine, for your donation. So I'm going to put some glue right here on this edge. Ah, come on. I, let, I had it setting up so I, the glue's not down at the end. Okay, here we go. Just going to put a little bit of glue on the fabric. And again, I'm trying to use up these magnets, or you could use the bigger ones. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use two. I'm going to put one there. Oh! Don't, don't, don't fall. They're tiny. I'm going to put one right there. And then I've got a little piece of book page that I want to put over the top of it. So I'm just going to glue this right over the top. Okay. Make sure that's not sticking to underneath. Leave that flat for a moment. All right, so I want this over the top. And I think what I'm going to do is fold this back on itself. And we'll glue a piece of paper over it to hold the magnets. So that should go like that. Okay. Getting it straight. All right, so now what I need, and I had one, but now I've lost it. Where'd it go? That goes in this other page. I need to put it over there. Seriously? Okay. Got some little scraps of paper here. So what I want is a strip that's a basically the same size as this one. Okay. And I want to put some glue down. So not on this piece, on this piece. So I'm just kind of hold it. There they are. I lost the magnets for a moment. All right, so I'm going to drop the magnet right on top. All right, I got to make sure this is straight. 
Come on, cooperate. All right, so now we have those pieces there, okay? I'm worried this is going to stick underneath. So what I'm going to do now is this piece is going to come over on top of that. Uh, thank you, Sandra, for your donation. So I'll put a little bit of glue on top. Okay, and then take this fabric piece and push it over. Ugh. Pushing it together. And then, aha, there we go. Now, if you want, you could add another little embellishment. In fact, I happen to have some tea tiny little bitty flowers here. Oh, and a piece of cheesecloth. <laughs> so if we put it right there. Okay. Got little flowers. I think I want this paler pink. Okay. And then I saw, oh yes, I do. I have a little bitty rhinestone. So I'll put, now let's see if I can pick it up. Ah, come on. Put that right in the glue. Good job. Okay. We put a little design. Yes, cheesecloth. <laughs> That's the poor man's lace. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this piece and I want to glue, yeah, I'm going to glue the fabric because it's going to be on here. I don't think we need another pocket, so I will go ahead and glue this whole thing down. So I'm just going to put a generous amount of glue on here. Okay, put that back up here, turn this over, and then press it into place. Smash! <laughs> yeah, the crafter's table, it just disappears. Who knows where it goes? <laughs> I drop things all the time. I'm like, where did that go? And sometimes it's right in underneath my view here so I'm not seeing it because it's too close to me and I'm trying to be better about how I organize my tabletop here the one thing I haven't done but I am considering is putting a basket up here that whenever I'm done with a tool I just drop it into that basket because sometimes I have a tendency to bury things underneath stacks of paper. All right, so over here, this is one of those um, scrapbook papers again with Norella's images, but I kind of added some collaging to it. So this will be perfect for whoever wins. You can add your little touches to this. This is another mixed media page that I made that I think would look really good on here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this paper clip up out of the way and glue that down. Yeah, you'll be remembered that Robin doesn't like cheesecloth. <laughs> ah, we've associated it with Robin, but she just loves it. It's her favorite. This is when I had printed some of my labels for my stamps and the printer jammed and didn't print it correctly. So I cut it up and use it as a pocket base. All right, let's put that right across here. You know, I didn't put any words on this side. And I need to stamp this 
with my information. So maybe what I'll do is get a scrap of paper to do that. So this is drawing. That's going to go in there, but I think we need something on here. And we got a butterfly there. Let's see what I have in here. Mm -hmm -hmm. That I already have cut up. Oh, I have this one. We could put that on there. So that kind of gives us that look. I like it. We're going to do it. We'll add some distress inks to it. Sometimes I sit down and I will fussy cut things. I haven't done it in a while. I've got some pages out to do that. I might take some items to fussy cut on the cruise. I just got some new little envelopes, if you will, to store things in. Oh, I moved them. I'll show y'all anyway. And if y'all like this idea, I'll send you the link. So I found on Amazon these little envelopes that are kind of sturdy so that I can put little things in it. Like if I'm working on a journal and I, oh, thank you so much, Terry, for your donation. Uh, and I want to make something and maybe I'll put all the elements that I want to make for this journal card in this little packet so I can make it later. And I was thinking I would also put my fussy cut elements like this. So this has like page flags. This has the word diary. Apparently I've printed it a bunch of times. This is some of Norella's women uh, images. And these were all punched shapes that I put in here. And then that's an empty one. So I'm going to put labels on them eventually. That's something I've been working on. I bought a big package of them, as you can see. I also bought these bigger ones. And they're the perfect size to store my rubber stamp sheets that I've laminated. Okay. I think we'll glue this down here. And then I'm going to grab a piece of paper to stamp on. Journal made by, this journal made by, and sign it so I can put it at the top here. Okay that right here. Smooth it out. I'm trying to decide which kind of saying I want to put. I could put never stop exploring. I don't want to cover that one up. This says stay wild. I don't know if I want to put that there. What do I want to put? Oh, how about this? Free spirit. That fits better right there. Okay, and that will put over here. This is the um, large butterfly, and I stamped it on watercolor paper and then colored it with colored pencils. And then used a water brush to activate the watercolor pencils. All right, that'll go right here. And we need a scrap of paper. And I've got this journal belongs to rubber, or just journal made by rubber stamp. I'll stamp that up here. It's kind of crooked, but that's okay. It's handmade, y'all. All right, so I'm just going to sign it. And today is 8-1-2022. My birthday's coming up really fast. Put this back over here. I think I want to change this color a little bit. So I'm going to grab the purple and kind of go over that so it's not stark white. And then we'll get the distressing walnut stain. And why did I lose my 
dauber. <laughs> Seriously? It was right here. Well, I think this is one of the old ones. Okay. I have more than one. It must have fallen in the floor. <laughs> or it's under here. <laughs> okay. Put that in there. This over here. Put this back where it belongs. And we will glue this up here at the top. Um, we are cruising out of Galveston. We'll go, I don't know the order, but we're going to Key West, which I've never been to. And we're going to the Bahamas. We make two stops in the Bahamas. And then one stop is on uh, Carnival's private island that they have, which is out by... What is it? Half Moon K, I think it's what it's called. All right, so this will go in here like so. I like it. So this we never undid all the way, but unflop that. This flaps over, and then we have a journal card here. And you could add another piece of paper if you wanted. Do we want to do it in pink? We could do a pink piece, or I've got this purple. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Ah, uh, thank you, Sandra. Or I have this purple. Oh, well, happy birthday, Sheila, coming up. Mine's the 17th. Yay! Well, you are older than me. <laughs> oh, you're five days older than me? For real? I kind of, I don't want to cover up that pattern. Hmm. I'm going to stick that in there. Y'all can fish it out. Whoever gets it. How's that? Yeah, we need to have a baby party every day this week. <laughs> a birthday party, I mean. Not a baby party. We don't want babies right now. <laughs> All right, so then this flips over, and then the magnets hook the... Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, so now we're at the back of the journal. So I'm going to take off all the paper clips of what I wanted to do. Oh, darn it. I thought I had already done the magnets. <laughs> well, I know that I want to put this tie on the journal so what i'm going to do is flip it back to the front and get this even and tie a bow so that it's in the right position from top to bottom where i want it and i want to make sure that i'm right side up and i am i'm going to set that aside i have another of the scrapbook papers we're going to do the magnets again so i'm going to flip it this way and we're going to get our Arlene's Tacky Glue and our magnets. Put the paper clips away. So I'm going to come in about two inches from the edge. Go this way and go two inches. And then halfway between. So I'm trying to right here. Why is this not working? Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's put one right there. Oh, come on. Stick. That was a lot of glue. We're going to put three magnets down. And I have another strip of paper we can put down. So we're just going to drop the magnet in the glue. Kind of get that going. Okay. And then one over here. Okay, got a little much. Don't need all that glue there. Just enough to hold that magnet in place. You're ready to win this one? <laughs> all right, so we're gonna gotta glue a piece of paper over. Right here. 
So this is going to be on the back of our little folio. Trim this off just a little bit. All right, so while I've got this flat, I'm going to move this out of the way. And let's find a stencil. Not like I don't have any nearby. I think we'll go with, uh... oh yeah, let's do this one. This is from the August Stencil Club again. Uh, thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want a blue, but I don't know if I want that dark of a blue. Well, we'll just do it. I've got a blueprint sketch. So I'm just going to get a little bit here. This, this, the bad thing about these nap magnets, they are so strong that they want to be in a straight line and you have to fight it to keep it in the container. <laughs> All right, so let's make sure I don't have any hanging chads here. All right, Chad, go away. All right, so I'm going to line this up as best I can. I'm just making a light pattern over the scrapbook paper backside or inside. Is it already that time again? Thank you, Robin. Y'all enter the raffle. Nope, oh, I see another hanging chad. Go away. Just adding a little bit of pattern. You don't get as old as you being nice. Hey! <laughs> You're nice. All right. How's that? You see the little pattern there? Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be something. All right. I think I want to stamp inside here. We use the henna rose. We've used the corner roses. Oh, let's use these sketched wildflowers. I haven't used those today. That block isn't big enough, but this one is. We'll just steal it. Oopsie. All right, we'll put one. This is the bottom, so right here. I like it. And I think I also want... Let's do a dragonfly in the opposite corner over here. There we go. Oh, I like it. Okay. And I was bad. I don't think I wrote the names down of all those, but that's one of my dragonflies. Okay. So we stamped there. Now we're going to close this over. And feeling where the magnet is, we're going to put a drop of glue. We're going to do the raffle here in just a moment. Okay. Find the next magnet. And then the third magnet. Okay. Put that there. I've got another strip of paper that I have stitched a piece of fabric on. So we're going to go down the edge here. Okay. Line this up with the edge. Okay. Press, 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 press. All right. So we got that started. All right. Y'all ready for the raffle? You love dragonflies? Well, thanks, Elizabeth. I love you too. I really enjoy them. All right. So we're going to give away... These two yellow journal cards that y'all get to embellish, whoever wins. And that winner is Cricket. Congratulations. You won the journal cards. So we'll get those mailed out to you soon. Put that one up here. All right. And we're going to reset. Yes. Okay. We're going to click here. And what do I have? Okay. I have one of these little 
folio things that I did for the tutorial for, was that June or July? I think this was the July challenge, wasn't it? So this is a uh, pink and blue folio. Open. So this has a little tie on the front. I've got a piece of tape here on the back. So if you want to glue this down as, say, a belly band or as a pocket where you tuck it on one side, however you want to do that, you could add another piece of paper on the back and have additional writing. And then we have on the front here some scrapbook paper that is part of uh, what I use to make this page. This is my new rubber stamp called um, Taped Note. And then up here I had a card that I wrapped with paper and then used scrapbook paper. It's one of those oversized postcards. And then this is a new rubber stamp and I've just went blank on the name of it. <laughs> if you go to my stamps and click on latest, it should be right there. I have the coneflower, the poppy, and flax. Flax. This is what this one is called. And it's Destiny's Calling and Notes. So that goes in here. And then when you open this up, you have a journaling card, scrapbook paper. You got writing here where you can add and then on the inside. So that's our next one. Just pet it. There's magnets underneath the ruffle already, Sheila. I put the magnets down before I glued the ruffle. It's there. Yeah, aren't they? Crap, I didn't put the magnets. Dang it. All right, let's see if I can salvage this. I put glue. I thought for sure that I put the magnets. I think I can get away with slowly peeling this up. At least where the magnets go. I can't believe I did that. Thank you. All right. I'm going to put some more glue under here. I got distracted by the raffle. God. Right here. I was playing with the magnets. Forgot what I was doing. Okay. Okay, got that one. Oh, I got two of them in there. Okay. Alright. So we're going to try this again. One thing about the the fabric type glue, sometimes you can peel it back up if you're gentle. Okay. God, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> okay, mail it together. Okay. Sure, I will. I'll be happy to mail those with your next stencil club. Thank you, Cricut. That saves me some money. <laughs> All right. So now we have magnets. We got magnets. All right. So do we need this to be another pocket on the back? Because that'll go on here. Well, you know what? I'll glue it as a pocket. I've got strips, so might as well. We're not stripping. We're using strips. <laughs> fixed it. Exactly, Margie. I fixed it. And you can, too. Don't ever think that something isn't fixable. Had that not worked, I would have just glued another piece of paper on the inside. So, had this not worked, I would have just glued a piece of paper down the side to help hold our magnets. So, I'm just making that go just beyond Okay, and we'll do the top and the bottom. Yes, another pocket, Robin says. All righty then. 
It's a good thing I had some of this pre-planned. We're running out of time. I'm going to have to hurry. We got a whole other side of the journal to finish. Or I'm just going to keep it until next week. <laughs> I won't do that to you. Henry won't be home till 7 probably because we're on smart hours and he's cooking dinner at the shop in a crock pot. And I have everything turned off here just about. I right, get that a moment to dry before we fold those in. So I've got this little piece that I want to go here as a pocket. And I have another journal tag that we'll put in it. I don't think I need the little gusset, so I'm just going to use regular glue. Exactly. Just keep going. Don't give up. <laughs> is Junkie Joe mistreating you, Margie? Well, may maybe you should refrain. <laughs> How many of my journals do you have, Margie? Now, anybody that has one of my journals, if you don't want it anymore, let me know, and I will gladly take it back. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you something in, in return. I won't just ask for it for free. But if there's a journal you have of mine and you're like, you know what? I've enjoyed it. I'm done. Just let me know. I'll take it back. All right. So that's going to go in here. But we'll wait a moment for that to dry. This was some scrapbook paper that I had in my stash. Uh, painted page. Just a variety of things. All right. So we're going to fold this in. We'll fold the other side. Margie is full of sass, for sure. <laughs> Maybe three? Yep, yep. It's about time. You deserve to win another one. All right, so this is going to go on here. And what I want to do is glue this down. So I've got this pretty much in the center. So I'm going to put, put the fabric tack underneath here. And over here. So that kind of adheres it to the journal base, if you will. I'll get it somewhat straighter. Okay. And then I'm going to put some packing tape over it. So not quite to the edge. I, may, I always cut more than I need, but it's just okay. So what that'll do is when we go to stick something in, hopefully it'll be smooth over that. It won't catch. All right, so let's glue this down. Yeah, our electric has gone up. Yeah, it's, it's smart hours from... 2 p.m. until 7 p.m. You are to reduce your electricity consumption. Otherwise, if you do not, you'll pay 42 cents a kilowatt hour. So depending on how much you use. So I have gotten really good. What I do is I turn my air conditioner down around 11 o'clock a.m and let it run and then at 2 p.m. I bump it all the way up to 80 degrees in here and believe it or not it stays relatively cool we have some good insulation in this house and only once did it get to 79 degrees in here it stayed below 80 today the temperature is not as much right now Ah, you'll be worth millions and millions right <laughs> okay so we got that down we got our tie underneath this flips open yes yes this little tag will go right here it's got some bling on it i'm not going to put any bling on the back side other than here but i am going to open this up we didn't put any phrases or words how about uh 
never stop exploring. Yeah, we'll put that right there. I think I like that. Okay. And then this snap. I like that. All right. So now I need to untie the bloody thing so that I can continue on. All right. So now we'll flip this way and all the thingies fell off, but I think I know what is going to go where. So this is an envelope that someone sent me and I covered it on this side with some gel prints. And then I just put a blank little line journal card inside. And my thoughts were that I would glue this up at the top so it could be another pocket. We could make it go this way. No, I was going to do this. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this one coming out that way and this one coming out the top. So we're going to glue this on two sides to make that a tuck spot. The journals will. Yeah, they will. <laughs> yeah, we won't be here. No. <laughs> it has helped. Yes, it does help. Um, Keeping, I turn everything off that I'm not using, like my extra computer that I have in the other room. I unplug uh, like a fan that we use. I turn off all the extra lights. There's no lights on in the house except this room. <laughs> all right, so I put glue on two sides and I'm kind of gauging where I want this. I think I want it right about here, but I want it, I want it far enough down that this little tag doesn't stick out. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it here. And then this goes right here. Thank you so much, Gigi. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lots of stuff in this journal, for sure. All right, so these are going to go up there. This was a master board made on an oversized postcard. So this is one of Norella's paper. This is a rubber stamped on a book page that I painted and then cut apart some more painted papers. So let's see. Do we want to do it like that? I think so. I'm going to glue this one on this side so they're across from each other. So we'll use my Aline or the Fabri Tac, not Aline's, because we're gluing on a gel print. And sometimes the Aline's tacky glue doesn't stick. All right, we'll put this right here. Let that sit for a moment. All right, so that one has the number. This is going to go up there. These are going to go in here. There's nothing on this one, so maybe we can find a butterfly that we can stick on the top, maybe. Oh, don't fall apart. There goes my magnets because I didn't close them. I've got a pink butterfly. How about this? I have one here that has some glitter on it put that on the top. My little notebook has been handy. That's why I'm thinking about making a notebook that these go in because they're about the same size, but I could put a, basically a paper gusset on here so that I could flip it like that. Ooh, because this is what happens with this one. The stuff falls out. I don't know. It was something I was thinking about doing. All right. We got that out. Let's glue this down. I'm going to have to hurry. We'll put that right here. So that's one of the Butterfly Beauties Cube. So it's all a bunch of butterflies that I've fussy cut, painted. So that's going to go in here. Let's find a phrase. Oh, let's do journal. I think I like that right there. Doesn't that look good? I do have a few of the Under the Sea subscription boxes left. If you were wanting one, you missed out on it. It is still available. This is another pocket that I made during a live stream, so we're just going to glue that down over here. 
I think I made it during a live stream. I can't remember. <laughs> Some of these will go pretty quick because I had them pretty much decided what I wanted to do. And I had a card that I made. This is a uh, sketched wildflowers. Yes, a journal with a little butterfly at the corner. What do you mean a journal? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying, Robin. <laughs> this has got the dragonfly number two, I believe. Always dream big, and of course, some more bling because Robin likes bling. So that's going to go in here. This is some more of that scrap of paper that I used on the front, and I just folded it over. I just thought it would be a good little writing space right there. I don't want to poke this in there too far and it get caught in the glue. I kind of like that. I don't know that it needs anything above. I like the way that kind of frames it. It calms it down just a little bit. You like the gusset in a pocket? It sure helps, I think, so that you have the whole use of that pocket, especially if you have limited amount of paper and you want it to be exactly that size, then just add another piece of paper. Oh, the word journal at a butterfly. Gotcha. Did not comprehend what she was trying to say, but now I do. All right, so we put a pink one there. Do we want a goldy yellow one, maybe? Let's see if I've got one here that I think will go, because it'll stand out a little better. Something like that. Does that make you happy? Just a little butterfly? I have a pink one, but I don't know. If, maybe this blue one would show up better. Let's see here. Or this blue one. Okay, the blue one is better. The blue one is better. All right, we'll put these back in here. I've got these little tiny Ziploc bags. I think I finally used them all. And... When I fussy cut a bunch of little images, I like putting them in the baggies because it makes it easier if you want a certain color. Yes, Robin says. I listened to what she said and I did it. Oh, heck, let's just go all the way and I'll put some more bling on it. <laughs> all right, do we want right there? Let's do it across the top. We're just going to do this whole strip. We'll put it right here. All right, scrooch, scooch down just a little bit. It's not perfectly straight, but I like it. Okay, there we go. How's that? Okay, we're going to flip this over. Ah, okay. I should remember what I did here. So, this is some more mixed media papers. This was a direct to paper. So I took the stencil and then a sponge dauber and dodged, daubed through the stencil. So you have actual texture on this. It's really thin, but there is texture on here. You love it. <laughs> you were in the fright. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. All right, so we're going to put that down here at the bottom. You know what I didn't do? I didn't stitch around this. So guess what? Yay for more blink. Let's go to the sewing machine, and we're going to stitch around this. We're going to drink. Move this out of the way for a moment. All right, let's go to the sewing machine. I think I got it all set back up. I moved things around. All right, regular sewing machine, regular needle, regular thread. I just noticed this was open. I do recommend that the paper be dry if you've been gluing things together. Because if you try to sew through something wet, it will tear the paper and it will gum up your machine. And I just put it in and go. If you don't have a, rub, a, a sewing machine, you can use these shabby stitches, rubber stamps. This one would be hard because of the texture. Okay. Stitch around. Oh, I almost had a with my thread. I ran out of thread 
and went up to our embroidery shop because that's where my official sewing stuff is. And I happened to have a drawer with brand new spools of wrapped thread. And I hoped that they weren't too old. So I opened one up and I've been sewing with it for a while now. So it paid off because I bought those back when they were on sale. Now I have some really, really, really old thread that was purchased at Walmart way, way back when they had a full-fledged sewing department. And that stuff's not any good. All right, we're back over here. My nose itches. Somebody must be coming to see me. Is it someone's coming to see me with a hole in their britches? And if your hand itches, they're coming to ask you for money? <laughs> Well done, Barb. She got 70 junk bucks. All right. We stitched that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down while I contemplate what I want to put on top of it. Maybe we'll dig around in my little ephemera pocket again. I'm trying to use up some of this stuff. I laid it on its side instead of putting it upright. Okay. It's getting to the bottom. I'll have to get me some acetone. Someone said that's what you use, so I don't know how much. Put the lid back on. I know there's a, a Pam from the Outpost. She puts hers like in a, just a jar. She just takes it and puts it in a jar without the lid. She has like a napkin or something in the bottom of her jar. Okay, we'll put that right there. Okay, squishy. All right. Let's look through, see if there's something I can add. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We have, uh, oh, we have this. It says start living. Why don't we do that? It's just something I collaged together a while ago. Um, one of Norella's images here in the background, I think it's the label file that she has. This is one of Norella's square images. I think they're called inches. Oh, no, you have to hang some washing gas. Ain't it cold out there? If you put bling on the cheesecloth, maybe she might. I think I'll put that there as a tuck spot. Hey, Amy, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here. All right, now I've got, I got a glue booger on my fingers. We're gonna put glue across the side. If I can get it to come out of the bottle, it may be time to open a new one. Okay, put this back on. I think I'm gonna get a bigger jar. This is a candle votive, I think. All right, let's put that right here. All right, I don't want this, but I think I want somewhere. I, oh, I do have one. I have one of my library cards. I haven't used those in a while, and I happen to have one. So there's going to go in there. And then I have some other things. So this is another one of those um, scrapbooky pieces that I made earlier. And... Oh, what's this? I have some cheesecloth. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get a little piece of cheesecloth. Put that across there. And I have Love Flows Quietly. How's that? We'll put that on top. So kind of put this right here. We'll get some more bling out. Oh, cricket, don't miss the boss game. By the way, your uh, the next stencil club won't ship till I get back from vacation. So we leave on the 13th and eight days letters when I'm supposed to be back home. I better put bling on it now. <laughs> oh, dear. Crack me up, Robin. All right, let's put some bling right here. 
I may need to put a little bit of some glue right under there. There. Yeah, I think if I had a mace, another one of these jars. Anybody want to send me an old jelly jar? <laughs> I don't buy jelly anymore. I've had some given to me. All right, so that's going to go in here. And then this was an envelope that I made during one of the live streams showing you different ways. I didn't put anything inside of it, so I'm just going to pop that in the back. And then I had another little scrapbook piece and one of Norella's images here and here. And we'll just pop that. We'll put it right here in the front. So it's kind of nice and fluffy. Okay, so here is another one of these pages that I've already put these strips on, but I haven't put the magnets in. So let's do that really fast. Linda, don't forget to put the magnets in. All right, what do I do with the magnets? Oh, there. Okay. Oh, yeah, this guy goes in here. So I'm going to line this up again. I need another piece of paper. Okay, before I get too carried away here, I got to cut another piece of paper. So I'm going to put a little piece of, a little drop of glue there. And then about two inches. And then we're going to center this. One, two, three, four, right here in the middle. Okay. I think I got glue in all the spots. Could be your birthday present. <laughs> You're very welcome, Cricket. <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put this in the glue. Have I done this enough that y'all think you could be able to do it if you had little tiny magnets? And watch my tutorial tomorrow. I think you're going to like it. Okay, so this is going to be an opening for my journal. I've used up all my little pieces of paper, so I need to cut some real fast. Where's my book? I've got an encyclopedia dictionary, and I just rip pages out of it as I need book pages. All right, I'm going to cut a couple of one-inch strips just so that I have them. There's no sense in keep getting my paper cutter back out a dozen times. I can just take a minute. Ah, come on, I didn't cut it all the way. Woo! I'd be glad when I can turn the air conditioner up. It's, it feels warm to me in here, probably because I'm getting excited about getting this done. Y'all can't have this journal. I want to keep it. <laughs> it's my birthday month. I've got a t-shirt that I got to print when our printer starts working that says, uh, it's my birthday month. <laughs> yes, month. I get the whole month. And then I've got another saying that I found and I made it, uh, I put it together with a lion and it says, I don't mean, what is it? I don't mean to be the center of attention. I'm a Leo. <laughs> Oh, Dollar Tree has jars? Okay. You won't use your good ones for crafting. Those are for candy. Exactly. <laughs> it could be my birthday present. Robin says you're going to bring me a jar. A spaghetti jar. Oh, yeah. A spaghetti jar stars. Yeah, that would be good. Currently, what I've got is, this is my, it's a metal tin that my mom gave me years ago. I've got a set of three of them, and I put my pencils in here, and then what I've been doing is just kind of setting it in the middle. It's kind of precariously perched. All right, so we're going to put glue on here. Let's glue this down. We're going to flip this over. We got to put glue and then the magnets. So I'm going to put the magnets right there so I don't forget them this time. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put a drop of glue. Feel where the magnet is. Another one bites the dust. I'm listening to some music. Some old music. 
queen. You would need that shirt. <laughs> I don't mean to be the center of attention. I'm just a Leo. All right, two magnets went down. Come on. There we go. No! <laughs> These are strong magnets. It wanted to be put on there no matter what. Okay, we got that piece. We got that glue down. Here's my strip this time. It was some green. Oh, I forgot to sew it. Let's go over to the sewing machine. I glued it down by scrunching it up onto the paper here. And now I'm just going to stitch down the middle of it. Sometimes I forget to sew it because I set it aside so the glue would dry before I went to my sewing machine. There we go. I'm getting better at doing my nails. What do you think, Jennifer? Have you been playing with all the colors that you got? <laughs> I'm, I'm about to order some stickers, Jennifer, to put on my nails. And you put the gel, clear gel top coat over them, and they're supposed to make them last so they don't peel up, and you get this really cute look. I'll let you know how it goes. They're like... I don't know, $7. I put them in my shopping cart. And when I have some extra money, I'm going to order them. Sometimes they go in my shopping cart at first. And then I move it to my wish list. Or I move it to save for later. <laughs> Tell Henry says, okay, you can order. I don't know where this scrapbook paper came from. It was just some that I had. All right, close this. So now we're going to glue this down onto our page. Again, we're going to use the Fabri-Tac because we're gluing onto a painted page. Thank you, Ruby Lily, for your donation. How are you, lady? Hope you're well. All right, we're gluing this down. I got to hurry. It's already six o'clock. We've got several pages to do here. I don't know how many uh, accordion folded pages I put in this. I deliberately made it smaller from one of the chunky ones that I made a while back because I wanted to get through it faster. <laughs> okay. And then this was another book page um, or a collage page with book pages and whatnot. And I'm trying to decide, I think I was, I was thinking about putting this more in the middle instead of at the bottom because I didn't want to cover up this butterfly. It was just funny that all these papers or things had butterflies. So I think kind of like right there. And then I have this giant butterfly from Calico Collage that I thought I'd put on the front. It's a highway to the danger zone. I'm good. Still, silly work. Oh, God, tell them people leave you alone. <laughs> this is your time off. Okay, I like that. And how about, do we want that right in the middle? Let me know if you, what you think. If you like the Let's Adventure right in the middle. This was a book page that I glued another paper on oh i made this a tuck spot here stitched around it was a book page that i had sprayed with tattered angels and then i used one of those tear off notepads and then this is um, a ledger paper that i have in my shop that's in different colors and i stamped it so i thought that would be cute in there and then i had another piece of that scrapbook paper left over so that'll go right here in that pocket and then this flips open and I forgot to do it again all right let's get a different stencil how about the Victorian panel so I got the Victorian panel and this was green so let's get the green distress oxide I got bundled sage all right so we're just going to kind of concentrate a little bit more. I know I'm not in picture, sorry. Let's 
So we kind of do it right there in that corner. I want it to be kind of fragmented, if you will. Don't want it to be perfect. I'm trying to hold that stencil into place while I use my brush. I've got to be gentle because there's some little curly cues on here. And let's make sure this corner gets a good pattern on it. And let's go right about here. Okay, I like it. Just kind of gives a little subtle pattern throughout. Good, good, good. All right, I need to clean my hands off real fast. I've got my thieves cleaner and a spray bottle, and sometimes I have to prime it. Come on. I need a different spray bottle nozzle. I bought one at the dollar store, and I just remembered I hadn't swapped it out. I put it somewhere. Where did I see that? Hmm. I don't know what I did with it. Then maybe what I need to do with Robin is say, hey Robin, go in my room and look for while I'm gone. Are you coming to my house? Are you going to be dog sitting for me? I don't think I ever officially asked you. <laughs> Y'all are into the raffle if you haven't. We're getting ready to do the uh, giveaway for the little notepad. I've got one, two more little sections to finish here. All right, so we need to put something inside here. I haven't really stamped a lot of birds, and I know that someone really likes this one, so we're gonna stamp it. And these are the Robins, rubber stamp from Beeline Designs. And we're gonna stamp that, stamp it in the middle here. Yeah, little birdies. And, oh, here we got the, this is the Feathered Friends stamp. So I'm just going to stamp it right here. It says Fine Feathered Friends. How's that? And I've got somewhere I have, well, this is a peacock feather, but we'll use it. We'll put it over here on this side. How's that? We decorated a page. All right, so this will close. And we've got, did we decide, did y'all like this? Okay, you assumed you were. <laughs> well, will you please and thank you? <laughs> All the cheesecloth, I'll hide the cheesecloth before I leave. I do have a drawer that it says cheesecloth. I'll have to hide it. <laughs> I forgot to glue this down earlier. Oh, dear. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. You know, some days I'm, I'm a little frazzled and trying to do things. And when it comes time to do the live stream, I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And, you know, your friendships, if you will. I just realized why I lost that dragonfly. I lost another one. I'll have to get a different charm, I think. So I, I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me and be a part of my life because it makes my day that much better. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this one, that's the same one that keeps breaking. I'm trying to find a different bug or something. Oh, here we go. Here's a gold one. Let's do this one. This was some tags I made during one of the live streams. Exactly, Creative Nana. <laughs> You'll call me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a pocket over here, I think. So I'll glue this one down. And then did y'all see my strip tutorial where I used strips of paper 
to make a pocket and some journal cards and tags. Well, I'm going to use one of those pockets today. If I can get glue out of this bottle, like I said it may be time to just open another bottle. Mm, come on. work for me. It's getting really close to the bottom. There's just a little bit left. Okay. Glue that right here. We're almost done. And then this was a belly band that I made that I thought would be really cute to put up here. And then you can have the journal kind of go through it. So I'll glue this one down. It was a scrap that was left over and I just added little tabs to it or the gusset pieces. I don't know what you want to call that. Okay. So I want it to come in just a little bit. So that's going to go through there. Then we got this guy down here and we've got a journal card that'll go into this pocket, but I want to put another word phrase on here. Oh, how about this? How about fabulous? I'm trying to decide where I want to put it. Maybe in the middle. Maybe we need something else on top of it. What do we have that we can use? Let me get my, this one out too. Let's see if there's anything in here. Do, do, do. I think these are too dark. I think that's too dark. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, how about this little flower? It kind of blends into the rest of it, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Maybe that one. Put the little rose on there. Okay. We'll put it down in the corner here and put fabulous beside it. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so very much. <laughs> You feel off when they're in the live. Well, I really appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me and, you know, just having a good time, fellowshipping with each other. I hope it lifts your spirits. I know it lifts mine uh, to be able to see y'all in the chat and interact with you, even though it's kind of, you know, me verbally and y'all texting. <laughs> I'll put it up high, I think. Now, I did make this a tuck spot, so if you want to put something in there, you can. Again, I'm trying to use up some of my scraps. So here is another pocket. I don't even have a journal card for it yet. So, oh, I have this, though. I just saw that. So we'll use it. We'll see what else I have. I'm not going to put the gusset. Oh, I meant to use the other glue. Let's see if I can get it to work. Because we're gluing on acrylic paper and so sometimes painted papers, sometimes a leans won't stick to the acrylic paint. Well, let's put that right here. Press that into place. Okay, I like that. And I had torn this a while ago, so I'm trying to decide do I put it right here on the edge or do I move it off just a little bit above, kind of center this piece? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this piece down first. And you're here, Barb. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come for the inspiration and giggling with friends. Well, I'm so glad. We're almost done. And then we will give away the folio. And then I will do a flip through of this journal. 
and allow those that have donated an opportunity to enter the last raffle for the journal. Now remember when you make a donation, you also get a membership on my website at lindaisrael.com. So if you are new and you made a donation, make sure you go over to my website and create a user account and then message me, hey, I'm so-and-so on YouTube. Please add me to the YouTube donator membership. And then I'll get you added. Okay, I like that. And then this was some scrapbook paper cardstock that I just trimmed. Thought that would be pretty there. Let's see what other kind of cards I have. Oh, I have this uh, envelope. Somebody sent me this envelope and a little journal card, and I just added one of Norella's words and her little image to this little envelope and card combo that was sent to me. I love little things like this. I love I love the happy mail. I don't get much anymore, but it's a lot of fun to get a little bit of happy mail. Okay, I like that. Okay, so then this guy is going to go right here behind our little belly band. I basically put the pages behind and just the flap on the front so it will flap over, but it shouldn't flop around. Flop around. All right, so I think we need some bling over here. We're almost used up this little strip. Let's do this. Okay. How is that? I'm using some bling up. Okay. Let's flip back through it because I think there's some, if there's something else we need to add real fast, we can. Yeah, that goes in here. That goes there. This goes here. Actually, I think I want to put it here. Yep. Okay, I got everything. Yeah, I think I got everything glued down. There may be a pocket that's empty, but I think we're good for now. Okay, so the winner, if y'all got in the raffle of this little folio, we're going to draw just a second, and then we'll flip through the journal. Oh, well, that's sweet. That's sweet. Um, what I, I don't know. I appreciate you hanging out with me in this, you know, structured environment, so to speak. But I definitely want your feedback. If there's, you know, something you want to see. Exactly. You could put a tiny paper clip on the uh, little journal if it if it's bothers you flopping around. And in fact, I have some. We'll see if any of these will work. You know, if there's a suggestion of projects you would like to see, let me know. You know, if there's a technique you want to know more about, if I've done it, uh, or if I haven't, I'll learn about it. <laughs> see what I can do, okay? I'm going to clean it up just a little bit here while I'm giving you all a chance to get in on the last raffle. The free raffle, that is. And put some stuff away. Put some stuff away. Got little scraps here. Move my scissors. I have another dragonfly that broke. So maybe I'll glue it down if I see the spot. Okay. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. So glad to have you here. All right. So let's do the last free raffle. So if you haven't already typed exclamation point raffle, do so right now. I'm back, Julie says. Get on the raffle, Julie. You might win this, and then I can put it in your box. <laughs> Welcome back, Julie. All right. Oh, Bluebell Kits, one with the corn flowers. Okay, okay, Barb. Yes, I have printed that one. I need to fussy cut it and get it planned out. But, yes, I do plan to do that one. So, thank you. Uh, Robin put Bluebell Kit on the notes pretty please all right i think everybody's in on the raffle now all right the winner of the little folio that i made a few weeks ago is 
Janice Primer. Congratulations, Janice. You won. Whoop, whoop. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is reset the raffle. And this is for the accordion fold. And this is a mixed media because I say it's mixed media because of the foundation. Accordion folded junk journal. So if you've donated here in just a second, you're going to enter the raffle. Only those that have donated. If you want a chance to win this journal, donate any dollar amount whatsoever that you feel is you can afford or want to share with me. I greatly appreciate that. All right, so I want to go here. No. I want to go here. Jeez. I was trying to remember where it was. Well, see, this tag keeps it in place. So I don't think we need the paper clip there. Okay. Let me kind of start. Let's pretend like it's all put together. And this is how it comes out of the box. Did I open the raffle? Did I get it open? I just want to make sure. Yes. Okay. People are getting in. All right. <clears throat> all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Move this back out of the way. Move that out of the way. Let's put this over here, really. But we want to clear the field. Clear the field. Make it, you know, the focus. So I've got a fabric tie on this accordion fold journal. So it's got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know how we're going to do that per se, really, but there was nine uh, pieces here. Right on the front, here's what we got. There is a pocket right here that has a tag that I made out of an oversized postcard and some scraps of paper and a digital image from Calico Collage. That goes right here. It's got some fibers. We've got some bling. We've got Be Authentic on here. That goes right here. Actually, I'm going to do something. I'm going to record this. I'm going to change something. Okay. So this is the front of my accordion folded journal. And we I think it has like nine panels-ish. We have a journal card on the front or tag. I put some bling. This is one of those blings that I got out of a package and I'm seeing that there's a problem here so I'm just kind of seeing if I can fix it. A couple of these pieces of bling were upside down and I think I can get away with not even using it. If I can get it to stick back down I will. Well I'm not gonna worry about it. I think it looks fine without it. And then this piece opens it's magnetic there's magnets in here okay so you can open that and this is the corner rose rubber stamp i stenciled that with the august stencil club we've got the word journal here and then there's a pocket here and i use another scrapbook paper and one of Norella's images, my thoughts linger here in a book page that I put some distress inks on. So that'll go right here. And this slides in, usually without issue, but today it's going to cause me a problem. Okay, there we go. Close that back. And then this flips over and we have a pocket here. This whole journal base is a mix of mixed media pages where I did direct paper, I painted it, then I stenciled over it either with paint or with tattered angels or their gel prints. That's what this is a gel print here and this is a mixed media paper. And then I made this journal card using the Queen Anne's Lace, Love Yourself, and there's two layers of book pages here on a piece of scrapbook paper. This is watercolor paper, one of Norella's images from the Victorian Rose. Here is one of those tea bag holders, the paper that it comes in. And so what I did was I opened it completely up and wrapped it with scrapbook paper. And then I stamped the tiny cosmos here, one of Norella's images there. And that's the Inspire inside the label, tiny label journal stamp. Over here we have another pocket. This is one of my paper bag 
pocket tutorials so you can watch that to see how this was put together and I used the henna mandala on top and used whimsical and this is a gel print in the background that closes up made a little altar paper clip with some fabric and lace to keep that closed one of Norella's images here and here I had a dragonfly this is dancing dragonflies I think I'm trying to fit upside down I think it is goes here kind of helps hold that flat shut and then henna bent mandala again there one of norella's images from the victorian rose this is a rubber stamp on top the butterfly is also from that same set beauty is souls deep and this is the leafy branch this is the leaf flower blooming branch blooming branch i think it's called this is watercolor paper so we'll put that back in here flip this over this is a gel print that i stamped around another gel print stamped piece of cardstock uh, we've got some more cheesecloth here some bling this was a mop-up paper that i made a while back on some watercolor paper and there's a piece of dark kind of denim canvas looking there and some lace and some cheesecloth as well as some thread so that goes right there over here we have another little pocket this is one of norella's images that comes as a domino and i cropped like six of them and then when i save that file i tell my printer to print it as a much larger image than what it would normally be and it makes us a fun piece to use thank you so much thank you so much another one of those tea bag that i covered with a book page and one of norella's images and then i stamped this tiny little bird that just so happens to peek out where that comes together and i just thought it was kind of cute to put it where it's hanging over these are both rubber stamps from my shop and this is on top of my magnets that help keep this page closed that i did not decorate we need to put something in there so I'll grab, let's do the Victorian Rose, and this was purple. Okay, I think I'm going to do it this way. And we're going to grab the purple Distress Oxide. And just make a little patterning on here. So it's not just stark white anymore. You like the little bird? That's part of the Feathered Friends collection I need a little I need a re-inker for this I think already I use it so much all right I'm gonna move my stencil over and line it up here so it'll go off the page over here Okay. There we go. I mean, I got it perfectly lined up, but it's good enough. <laughs> okay, we'll leave that there. And since I've got the corner rose stamp out, I'm just going to cheat and use it. I think I can get this flat enough. I'm going to put it up here as well. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Whew. All right. How about today is full of possibilities. It may need something behind it. I wonder if I did that. Let's see what it looks like. If I trim this off and then trim this piece. I could colorize that piece with a little bit of purple. It's amazing what you can do with just a few supplies. And then we'll put that on the page. How's that? I like it. Feel better, Gigi. I, I'm I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to be able to give you a little reprieve, and I hope that you're healed or be, or in the healing process. 
All right, I like it. It needs a purple scrap. Let's see what else I've got. Oh, I've got a little piece of fabric. All right, this is another idea. I'm going to ruffle that over just a little bit. Just making a little bead of glue across here. And then we're going to kind of pleat it. Okay. Eee! If I put that right here and then put this coming over it, I think that's what we'll do. Put that kind of coming out the corner here. And then this has got glue on it already, so I'm just going to put it right over that. All right, how's that? Almost back to normal. Keep doing your therapy. It's important. Okay, I like that. And then that is magnetic, so it'll stay closed, so that when you're flipping your page, it doesn't flop around. You could also tuck things inside here if you want, but you also have a pocket back here with a large journaling card. Norella's image, scrapbook image, rubber stamp. Every mountain top is within reach. Just keep climbing. So that fits down in there. And then we'll flip this over. And I've got a pocket at the bottom here with some uh, image from the Wild and Free scrapbook paper that got messy, a rubber stamp image. This is a little envelope that I made out of a piece of scrapbook paper that I rubber stamped over. And I was telling Robin that if you have these types of tickets, you can cut out these little word numbers and use those. And then this is just a piece of cardstock, one of Norella's images that I made into a pocket with a tag. And this is also Robin or Norella's image. And I was going to say, Robin, I've got some more cheesecloth there. And I think this needs some bling on it. I still had a little bit of bling left. So I'm going to get my scissors out. Let's put some bling on here. Maybe right here. We don't want to overdo it, right? <laughs> you like listen to me talk things out? Thank you. <laughs> I like that. Uh, maybe we'll put a bigger bling over here. I've got some of these bigger ones, so we'll just put one right there. Okay. And this is watercolor paper. This is a label stencil that I have that I cut out uh, that's also stenciled on both pieces. This is my stories, a rubber stamp, some bling, and one of Norella's images there. So that'll go right here. This is also a tuck spot, and I happen to have another one of these journal cards that match the strips, so I think we'll put that right there so it'll kind of peek out. We didn't put any bling on this page, so while we're at it, we'll do that. I'm thinking that we'll put some bling going up and down right here. How's that? Oh, I got a little piece stuck to my finger. This uh, image here is a piece of brown paper that I stamped a bird on top of a book page. And then I have some tiny number stamps that I stamped. And then this opens up, you've got a tag here that you can write on with some fibers. This flips over and you have this little notepad that you can write on. Got another little pocket. This tiny postcard is one of mine that I made in my shop inside an envelope, expect great things. And then another tag here. And then this is a tuck spot up here. We didn't put anything in it or a pocket. I don't know if I have something already made that I can stick in there. Let's see what I've got. I think that would stick out too far. Ah, yep, sticks. I don't like it. It sticks out too far. 
Oh, I know what I've got here. Is this going to work? I've got an envelope that I haven't decorated, so I'm just going to pop that in here. Come on. You were working just fine a moment ago. Why are you giving me a fit now? What am I doing wrong? Oh, I see what I was doing. Okay, I think I like that. Just kind of stuck in there. Down here it has little bitty cards. This is a image from Norella. This is called the Bella Rose Small Stamp. And I use the small beach rose here. And then back here I use the henna rose. That was here and here. And I put some Distress Oxide over it. And I made this where it's a tuck spot so you could put a larger journal card back behind. And then this was just a scrap of paper that I tied some fabric on to make a little tiny tag. We flip this over. This is a magnetic closure mixed media page apothecary garden, one of Norilla's botanical images and one of her little tags. I don't remember which kit that's from. The tag, this piece is a garment tag that Henry gave me. And then up here we have a journal card. I didn't put anything on this one. I kept it kind of plain. How about this? We'll do a my thoughts linger here. Let's put that on this side. Oh, I don't need that glue. I was just looking here. Oh yeah, I've got that's how about this? So we'll put this on here. So we have a little bit of a border. I'll cut this. Wouldn't that look better? I think so. I like having these little word phrases and what I do when I cut apart the digital images, I end up with these little strips. And if there's nothing on the other side, then I use those to stamp out little word phrases. And I've been popping them in this little dish so that I have them. I drop one and I can't leave it on the floor because my chair will roll over it. <laughs> All right, so I don't need that. We did do this. Now, I think I need to do one more thing. That's got flowers on that side. I think I'm going to use, this is the French correspondence. I thought I was done with this journal, but we find things as we go through it. And then we'll put that right here over the top of that. Just leads a little bit of texture. Okay. So this goes in here. In this top loading pocket and you flip this over and there's another pocket here and there's a pocket here that I added a little scrap to okay <laughs> my paper's waving at me exactly all right and this goes back over this goes like that there's magnets in here so that'll snap shut we've got a little scrapbook paper that I folded into a somewhat of a trifold added the rubber stamp journal one of norella's images and one of norella's images that goes in here i stamped this journal made by okay why are you giving me fits today and signed it i used the beeline designs uh large butterfly and never stopped exploring now we're at the back of the journal and this wants to keep coming out so i may have to get a little paper clip let's see if i can do this there to kind of help keep it from falling off because it is on the outside of the back journal and we lost another charm all right let's see what we've got here that's a dragon we don't want a dragon how about this we'll do one that says faith because it says follow your soul that I cut up. So we'll put the faith on here. All right. So I should be able to paper clip that. 
and then this opens to reveal more writing space and you've got a pocket here I don't think I put anything in it all right we don't have time so I'm not gonna put anything in it right now but it's there for you oh we got a chop for the game <laughs> Woohoo! 100 junk bucks. So here we've got a little envelope that I added some gel prints to. And then this is just a simple little card inside. This closes up. A little tag from Norella. This may be from the All About Robins, but it may be from the Victorian Rose, not Victorian Rose, the Bella Rose, I'm not sure. I don't know where the yellow one came from. I just thought it was cool colors. Scrap of paper, rubber stamp, and then this is another one of Norella's images here. Little mixed media pocket that I made. Scrapbook paper, journal card that I made a while back, wildflower sketch, sketch wildflowers. Dragonfly number two, always dream big and some bling. It goes in here. Create the world you want to see. I like having the variety of different sayings throughout. This is a, a chunky pocket here. Start living is one of Norella's image, Norella's image, Norella's image, and rubber stamped envelope. Scrapbook paper that I turned into like a little journaling card with one of Norella's images and then love flows quietly with some bling and cheesecloth. One of my stamps, the library card number two, which has a different font than the library card number one. Uh, Serenity and the image. This is from a Burst of Beauty journal kit and then I don't remember where the word came from, if it's one of Norella's small ephemera kits. Here I put a pocket up high, and in that pocket we use the scrap of scrapbook paper that I use for another page. I put that in here. The butterfly is from Norella. I think it's from her butterfly collection that she has. One of Norella's mason jars. I stamped this with the henna rose onto a scrap of tarot paper. This is my ledger paper, digital download, henna rose, little label. That goes there. This is another magnetic page. So it's got a magnetic closure, rubber stamped. There's another pocket here. Doesn't have anything in it. Scroll it over. And then back here we have another pocket that I have a tutorial that shows you how I made that. Ledger paper, one of Norella's images scrapbook paper cardstock that I just trimmed down and then this envelope and base card was given to me I added the bloom wild and the little bird I'll put that back in here ah! and then during one of the live streams I made this little journal card that's in here out of scrapbook paper and book pages and then some scraps of paper that I had laying on my desk. So I've, this is a scrap that was left over from cutting up one of these uh, collage type pockets. Book page music, sheet music, dragonfly from Norella from her new dragonfly fussy cuts, Grace and Bling. This is fabulous here. And guess what? We are back at the beginning. We finished the whole journal. I hope you enjoyed seeing this, that you liked the way it turned out. If you're inspired by it, definitely let me know after this live stream or during my video what you thought about this journal. All right, so we're going to now go back here. Thank you, Ruby Lily. Thank you, Gigi's Attic. Thank you, Janice, Sandra, Terry, Sandra again, Elizabeth, Nadine, Sherry, Barb, Cricket, Kathy, Morgan, the Mrs. Edmondson, Jennifer, and Fluke, Fluke Family, Fluke Feline Family, or aka Fifi or Margie for y'all's donations. All right, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people. 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Somebody is random journal. I don't know who that is. So tell, speak up in the chat. But we had Random Journal, the Mrs. Edmondson, Cricket, Sandra Lewis, Sherry Deskin, Terry, Sandra L., Margie, Nadine, Janice, Barb, Gigi's Attic, and uh, uh, Elizabeth has don't entered the raffle. So I think we need Cricket. Did I say your name? And Morgan. I think, and Terry. Did I get Terry? I don't remember if I said Terry. All right, Terry's in. Morgan's in. Yes, I did sign it. I signed it right here. There you go. I signed it. Thank you, Jennifer. You definitely love the most journal. Oh, thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The sound effects are cracking you up. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, making a fun way to make gifts for younger kids. Yeah, they could do smaller journals like that you know just kind of adding stuff to it you see the fabric poking out you've got fibers poking out it stands up it's pretty fluffy i think it's about okay i called your name good uh one and a half inches thick one and a half inches thick i love it okay Raffle, wonderful. Yes, woohoo! Love it. I most definitely love the whole journal. I love that. Thank you so much. Robin says, ta da! Thank you, Sheila. All right, let's see who wins this beautiful journal. Hey, Kathy, you got in. And the winner is Sherry Deskins. It's been a while since you won one, Sherry. Congratulations! I'm going to be taking some pictures of this and I will uh, get it out to you. I love how it turned out. I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I greatly appreciate you hanging out with me. I know we've been a little long today. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Be look out for the tutorials that I've got coming up. I hope you enjoy. I birthed another journal. I sure have. <laughs> All my blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it could be a good journal to do good base for school projects and get a teach and teach crafting to. Yeah, definitely. I do not have a do, journal on a tutorial on making the base. I basically just took a piece of chipboard and then I glued book pages to it until I got it the length that I thought I wanted it. And then I started scoring every six inches. It's a uh, six inches wide by eight and a half inches tall <clears throat> then i came back and started gluing down all the mixed media pages just randomly like franken page style all over the whole thing i had thought about sewing over it but i didn't want to because the stitches would have gone through the whole journal and you would have seen them on the other side i didn't want to do that you're very welcome you're very very welcome all right, everybody. Well, I'm going to get off of here. I hope you enjoyed this. Please definitely. Um, I, I did show you on a different video. Yes, Kat, Sheila. It wasn't this one, but I did show another one on how I put it together. You can see a different one. Uh, if I don't see you next week, thank you so much for being here. But I should be here next Monday, and then I go on the cruise. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, to a tutorial uh, for the base for the swap next month. Okay. For September. Well, I can see what I can come up with. I can see what I'm come up with. What else? Did I miss anything else? All right. Y'all, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Barb. Y'all have an amazing day. Again, leave me a comment after this stream, what you thought about this video. Share it with your friends. And of course, y'all have a fabulous day. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Y'all take care. Lots of love to each and every one of you. Have a fabulous week. Bye, everybody.